guys, what's up? And welcome back to another video. Today in Minecraft, I'm going to show you how to build a sword combination block. So please remember to subscribe when you're watching my videos and let's get started. Okay, so guys, here is the mini lock. Now it may look mini, but if you go to the back, there's more redstone. Like a lot more redstone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to build this little resin contraption. Now this is going to be basically part two of the lock series. So if you want to keep on watching this series, you better make sure to hit subscribe button and like the video. So, first of all, how does this work? So you have to figure out the sword combination basically. Okay, so if all the swords are basically like this, then all you have to do is if you hit this button, it doesn't work, right? But if you point all the swords facing up, boom, 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 and boom, then it should open. And then now you're free into the wild. So, um, so that's how it works. And now we're gonna get started by booting. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, the blocks. <laughs> okay. So first of all, we're gonna build a five by four. So I'm gonna go all the way out here. A one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. And we'll keep on um, filling this in. And then you can make an outline all the way around. Okay. So once you get that done, um, we're gonna get um, a button. Um, any type of sword, and then we're gonna get an item frame. A teleport. Ooh, blue item frame. <laughs> okay, and so we're gonna do this, this, here, and here. So it's kind of in the corner, like one away from the um, from the side, and then a button here. Okay. So once you got that, we're gonna place the sword. And mine combination is going to be um, all the way up, like the example. Okay, so I'm going to face them all up. And then we're going to put blocks on here and here and here and here. Because that's where the um, combinations were. See? The sword. So then we're going to get a comparator. Comparator. And then we're going to place them all on these blocks here. So boom. And we're gonna go to the other side. And we're gonna do boom. So these um these item frames with the sword in it, the comparator is actually detecting that an item is in there. And when you put it, then it turns away. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, it's still detecting the item. Well, basically, if we have a whole bunch of blocks here, okay, let me do that, and we get redstone. Mm -hmm. And then we put that all here. See that it gives an output shrinks of two. And then we do it again. I mean, well, uh, shrinks of one, then two. And then it goes to the three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, and then eight. So this is the max limit of the strength that it can hold. So then we'll build all the blocks to that strength. Okay, and the redstone. So then we're gonna do all this. And then yeah, we're gonna go over here. And boom. Okay, so then we're gonna put redstone dust all here. And then down here. And then down here. Boom. Okay. So, now that that's done, we're gonna, um, so from the button, we're gonna um, dig this little trench here. And it goes over there. We're gonna place that block. And then we're gonna place redstone dust all around here. Okay. So then, um, so then we're gonna get the piston. We're gonna do, get some sticky pistons. We're gonna place them here and here. And then we're gonna place here and here. Okay, so then we're gonna get the stone block 
and then we're gonna place them on the sticky pistons. Okay. So we're gonna get a redstone repeater here, and then we're gonna place a redstone repeater here, a red, and then a redstone repeater here. A redstone repeater here, and a redstone repeater here. So this, it should basically go like this. Okay. So now we're gonna get this redstone, this redstone line, and then we're gonna place a redstone here, and then a redstone repeater here, and then there's gonna be redstone connecting. And then we're gonna, so when it connects into that repeater, it's gonna go through this block, through this repeater, and then we're gonna build a signal that goes all the way up to this line here. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna place a redstone repeater, and then redstone all here. Okay, so then we can delete this. So basically, it's gonna go here to here. Oh wait, you know what I just noticed? We can add the two repeaters, or we just add a redstone line here. Yeah, there you go, now it goes all the way up. So then we're gonna place a block, block, then all the way blocks over here. And then it's gonna go down one, and then it's gonna go, and then the, we're gonna carry the redstone line all the way to go up, and then we're gonna place a repeater here. So then it's gonna go all the way here. Now since the repeater's there, then we have to place one here too. So it transfers through the block, and then it goes all the way over here. Then we do the same thing. We're gonna place a redstone, um, stone, and then two blocks on top of it. And then redstone line going up. Now I'm gonna set the date tank again, so you guys can see. All right, so after that redstone line goes up, we're gonna place a block here, and then a redstone repeater. So basically, the line goes all the way here, and then transfer it up, boom, it goes up, then go back down, and it goes up, and then, well, we have the rest to do. Now I'm gonna add a redstone repeater right here, just in case if it doesn't have the strength to do it fully. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna um, do that. So then the block is gonna transfer all the way to over here. And then, so then we're gonna um, place a little door, like a little doorway with an iron door. And that is gonna be your thingy, or the iron door is gonna be the um, the way to escape out of the whole place. Okay, so after that, we're gonna go here and then we're gonna down one, and then a redstone repeater, redstone all the way from here, and then another redstone repeater, and then boom. And that is the whole thing done. Now, to test this out, um, we put all the swords up, and then if we press a button, it should open. Boom, there. Okay, now if we don't mess this all up, and then we press a button, it should not work. Five million years later. Yeah, it still hasn't opened. So you have to figure out the right sword combination to do it. And if you could just get one wrong, Mm -hmm. No! And <laughs> boom, and then you can escape. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and watch some of my videos. And bye.